Hello everybody, it's the Tech Tipster here and today I want to introduce you to a new toy of mine. No, it's not a Raspberry Pi, but it is very similar. This is an Odroid C1. Now what is this and why would you be interested in it? Well, if you're a fan of the Pi, you'll also be interested in this. It's a very similar single board computer. It also sells for a very affordable $35, but it has a few small differences. First of all, the C1 has a 1.5 GHz processor compared to the Raspberry Pi's 0.9 GHz processor. Don't let these numbers fool you though. The C1 actually uses a Cortex A5 processor compared to the Raspberry Pi's A7. According to the Cortex website, the A7 can get up to 20% more single-threaded performance compared to the A5. Now, will the extra clock speed on the C1 give it enough of a boost to make things like N64 emulation better on these mini devices? I'll definitely have an answer to this question in the coming weeks. Both devices come with 1GB of RAM, 4 full-sized USB 2.0 ports, and an Ethernet port. But the C1 beats out the Pi with a gigabit Ethernet port, which should help with that throughput. The C1 also has 40 GPIO pins, and the good thing is, these are almost compatible with the Pi's bar 3 pins at the end, which are dedicated analog IOs. Interestingly, the C1 does not come with an audio jack, but this doesn't worry me considering how bad the audio can be on the Pi when we use this. Another thing to note is that the C1 uses a micro HDMI cable, which is definitely not as common as the full size one we use on the Pi. It is also worth noting that the C1 is powered by a barrel style power adapter and not the micro USB port, which is actually a USB on the go port for connecting various accessories. If we flip the C1 over to the back, you will note the different placement of the micro SD card, which is definitely not as convenient as the Pi. Next to this though is a very interesting feature, which is an eMMC flash storage slot. This is like a mini SSD for your C1 and can be used to store your operating system and is much quicker to access than an SD card. This can also theoretically expand your memory by twofold, allowing you to store an operating system on your MMC module and having an SD card connected as a separate storage drive. The last thing I want to talk about is software, and while the C1 community and software choice is not as developed as the Pi, one advantage it does have is that it runs Android. That's right, Android 4 and Android 5 run on this little machine, and that opens up a whole new world of possibilities on what we can do with this miniature computer. So there we have the C1. I'm going to be spending a bit of time with this unit over the next week, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the Pi and will be continuing to make videos on that. Hopefully you all enjoy the variety and I can introduce you to something new that may topple the Pi. And who knows, for $35 it might be worth having both.